What's up guys, we're gonna go into a game of Reaper. I like Reaper on this map specifically. Ilios, uh, I think it's Village. He's really good in and out of those buildings. And I'm not 100% sure if he can make use of the window above the point. A lot of people don't know ex it exists. I'll probably go up there at some point and can point it out to you. I don't know if I'll use it, but I like it on Farah as well, for that reason. I'm assuming he can make use of it, but I've never done it. He was regretting hooking a reaper at the end of his life. I think you can probably one-shot Reaper though, I think you must have screwed it up. I don't know, if I spam shift maybe I live, but I shouldn't have been able to kill him that easily. He must have like right-clicked. This is why I like Reaper, you can flank around really easily, get behind them. I want to get up here. I think I can get up here. There we go. I used to play Reaper a lot on this map even before I knew the window existed. And then after I discovered it, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so that's why I want to play him a bunch. Trying to figure out where they are because I'm trying to set up an alt, but the window's to my left right now. Can't really see it because it's above the ground a little bit. That's why I'm not sure if you can make use of it on Reaper. You might have to teleport inside. I'm just gonna jump down instead. I didn't want that to be clunky. But yeah, it's right above the point. In that little tower, there's a window slightly off of the ground up there. I've used it on Pharah before, and it was really good because they're just—they're not looking up when they're fighting your team on point. Nice, he didn't even get to shift. This is still a little dangerous, though. May without fighting a May without shift is really hard as Reaper because you'll get frozen and killed. But if you can like shoot her a couple of times, wait until you're almost frozen. As soon as you hit shift, you'll be good to go. Like you'll go back to the highest speed and be able to like either disengage or wait around to kill her. Usually she'll hit her shift or whatever puts her in her icicle form. Also during that time though, so you'll kind of reset the fight. But sometimes you can force it out before then if you do good shots. I'm going to switch over to uh, Farah here because I like her better on this map. Mainly because if you're flying like this, you can shoot almost all the way. You'll be able to see them run through. Like, that's their mid section. You can see their ship right there. So you can get a couple of hot shots, and you can also knock people off to the left hand side. You can see a lot of the map when you're flying. It's like the main reason I like Farah on this map. Whereas if you're on the ground, you can see there's so many obstacles. Obviously you have a weakness to snipers. But snipers aren't particularly good on this map anyway. Although they have at least one. They have Hanzo. I just missed so many shots.
I feel like... I need to get good with Roadhog. I'm not very good with him, but he takes so much right, damage. Alright, they're ready. My ult's up. Hang on. Oh god. That's so good. I didn't have my ult stuff yet. Was way late, Hanzo. Everything already happened. But it's still good. This is looking like it's gonna be an easy one. There, that's the easiest way to kill a Roadhog. <laughs> He's like the only tank that I have a serious problem killing most of the time, and it has to be a self heal. His hit points aren't that absurd, like compared to a Reinhardt or something. Although Reinhardt on Fairy, you can like go above the shield, and it works out okay. All right, that was pretty good. We'll watch through the play of the game and then end the video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.